We decided to use Spatial OS because it allows us to do a lot of stuff that isn't, you can't typically do in a normal server environment. Spatial OS works as a swarm of servers that are all working behind the scenes and it's all managed and, and supported by Improbable, which is awesome for us as a small team. We don't have to worry about all the back-end technologies, they just magically work for us, which is awesome. And so we can focus on the content of the game. So Seed is a massively multiplayer simulation sandbox game. So with, what that means is that we are simulating entities which are, exist in like a big, massive, seamless world. What's special about Seed is that you, you play multiple characters, or you control multiple characters, and you leave them in the world even when you log off. With uh, massively multiplayer games, it has been like, okay, I can use Unity, but I still have to build the backend, right? So for us, when we saw Spatial OS and Improbable, which was a couple of years back, it was like, okay, now that moment for multiplayer backends, like now we have like the Unity moment for, for multiplayer backends. Trying to kind of create this universe, for me, it's that pure like persistence. Um, everything the player does, every action they do, if it's cutting down a tree or if it's crashing their ship onto an island, Spatial OS allows the all of that to be stored um, and remain on these islands. As the game progresses, like there's this real player history that's being generated. Uh, whether the players like like want to or not, you know, they, they have to build a ship and leave parts and, and crash it as, as they learn how to kind of play the game. So One Inching Stars is a Space Conquest game. Uh, it's a tour difference game with offense mechanics. Uh, it's also a RTS and an MMO game. The main part was to create an MMO. We are a small team. We have two developers and uh, we didn't know how to do that with uh, such a small team. So when we've met uh, Improbable and Specialized Technology, uh, well, it, <laughs> it was like a star in space <laughs> and it helped us uh, create the game we want. So Chronicles of Illyria is about having a single massive uh, dynamic world that's constantly changing that gives players an opportunity to step into a world that's got a 10 year story where they have active control over what's going on, either as an individual or on an aggregate scale. Spatial OS brings to Soulbound Studios and Chronicles of Illyria the opportunity to be built upon a really strong fabric. You know, we're a small studio of about 21 people and up until recently the idea of having a 20 person studio developing really a groundbreaking game, it wasn't really possible, but having a system that allows us to create a massive world, you know, almost 30,000 kilometers on our starting continent, uh, without allowing us to focus on just the real content and the gameplay mechanics without having to worry about the networking and storage and all the back end stuff, it, it's really saved us a huge amount of time and resources.